Now let's look at the purpose and the context of this process of software architecture. The purpose is pretty obviously to identify the major structural components of the system that you're going to build and the interactions among all the different uh, major components. That's, that's the purpose, that, that will do it. The context, um, the objectives probably won't have changed much, but the stakeholders may, when they start seeing the, um, the architecture evolve, uh, may decide to change some requirement or other, or change the mind about something or other, so that they, they, that their objectives could um, change. But during the architecture process, you're quite concerned about the various non-functional objectives of the various stakeholders, because they, they play a major role in, in the, um, the actual architecture itself. The constraints? Um, probably the same as um, most, you, you have imperfect knowledge of the system you're building. Um, and uh, I think Yogi Berra's comment was uh, predictions about, um, predictions are really difficult, especially about the future. And um, you, you simply don't know how it's all going to finish out at the end. So you're always going to be working under a certain amount of um, lack of knowledge. Risks, uh, there is a risk of developing the wrong architecture. Um, and there's, a, there's also a risk of um, design paralysis. As I said before, some architects won't let the system loose until it's all firmly tied down. That's counterproductive. Um, so you need to balance the risk of uh, premature launch with um, excessively delayed launch. Uh, 